Tapio, it's great to see that you are back in Finland. But hey, please tell me, when was the last time when you wore this same rescue suit? The last time I put it on in a, in a bit of a hurry as my boat sank in six minutes in the Indian Ocean. And how were you finally rescued? In the uh, short time I was able to, in addition to uh, taking this survival suit uh, uh, with me, I also got my satellite texting device and, and personal location beacon. So the rescue coordination center together with the race organizers could get my exact position and, and so they directed uh, two of my competitors with, uh, who were behind me uh, to my location together with an Indian uh, bulk carrier uh, so that, uh, within 24-25 hours. Uh, hey, uh, could you tell me a bit more, more? How was it on board that bulk carrier crossing the, the Indian Ocean? I was thinking week after week that, that uh, what shame it is that ships are not taking advantage of the trade winds blowing and, and then especially on, on this Daria Gayatri burning uh, a bit over 20 tons of, of fuel per day in splendid sailing weather so I, I was talking with the officers at the bridge that, that how, how, how much uh, better it would be to, to, to take advantage of the, of the wind. Okay, so you see that the rotor sails could make a big advantage to reduce the environmental impact of shipping. Uh, absolutely. Uh, I was sailing on a Norwegian uh, uh, sail training ship last uh, uh, spring and uh, with, with some Norwegian ship owners uh, there and I, I accidentally heard a discussion on the next table uh, with very happy customers of, of yours telling how, how, how their uh, cargo ship uh, 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 reaches 12 knots of speed uh, with, without engines. Hey Tapio, what do you think? Could we go to sauna now? Uh, why not, but I, I think I'll, I'll stay still for a while and enjoy while we are here. <laughs> Thank you very much, Thomas. <laughs>